right, guys, y'all looking at the thumbnail, y'all looking at the title of the video, y'all already know what time it is. It is time to get active. Content for today comes from the brother, from another mother. It's complicated. If you guys are not following yet, you're tripping. Title of today's video, Equal Pay, Rules of Modern Dating and Understanding Women When It's Complicated. This one shall be a good one. Without further ado. Who is the most famous actress you can think of? Actress? Yeah. Uh, Drew Barrymore. Okay. If Drew Barrymore was in a movie with a male co-star that nobody had heard of, would it be fair to pay them the same salary? Nope. No. Why not? Because he's not, like, known of, and because he didn't, like, work to be famous like she did. Okay. Correct. Since Drew is the star of the movie, won't she bring more people to the theater than yes. her co-star? Yes. Okay, that's called star power. How is that different than the gender pay gap? <laughs> oh, that's a loaded one. Um... Like, for women or for, like... Well, I mean, the WNBA complains about not being paid the same to the NBA, and they don't generate as much revenue. So, I mean, isn't that kind of like the same thing? Um, I feel like the WNBA yes. isn't promoted as much as the NBA because they are women. No. Right, but, I mean, wouldn't a male co-star that no one's ever heard of not be promoted as much and not be able to... Yeah, I guess. Correct. So is that comparable? Maybe, sure. I, I mean, wouldn't, so then wouldn't it have more to do with performance than discrimination? Oh, I don't know. You're like hitting me. I wasn't ready. Be, because it's logic. The first thing that I thought about was like um, in the UFC, for example, right? There's different um, pay ranges dependent upon the particular fighter based off of the star power, right? Conor McGregor, for example, how much was he getting paid in the UFC? But he brought a star power within it. And then he was able to translate that to like 50 million plus dollars with Floyd Mayweather because of star power. So because one man gets paid up here and the other man gets paid up here, is it going to be all of the men going gender pay gap? Oh my goodness. The alpha males are getting paid more than the, the, the contenders. Shut up. Let's keep going. I don't know. You're right about that one, but I just feel like if they both doing the same, same job, thing, they deserve the same should. pay. It doesn't matter. No. Okay, but at the same time, you know, then why would someone want to star in their movie? I um. mean, <laughs> right. What would be the benefit of having a celebrity in your movie if they weren't gonna, you know, bring more people to the theater? I mean, right, but, right, right. That makes sense, but I mean, they're both doing the same job, but don't they have different value to the to the to the project? Yeah, but I feel yeah, like yeah, you're right, you're right. So, see, so shouldn't their their pay, you see, know, reflect like, reflect the value that they're bringing to the movie? Go ahead, yeah, yeah, go yeah, ahead, I say it, mama. That. I feel like it depends okay. on what part you play. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't that completely disprove the gender pay gap right there? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shout out to those two young ladies. That's why the content is so important. Because if you catch them young and they're willing to listen, then something will click. Damn, yo. Shout out to IC. I see you out there continuing to work, my G. I got to come back out there. Let's keep going. Actors who are basically both starring and doing the same job, but they have different value because one is a celebrity and the other one's an unknown. So. And you're saying with the basketball? Well, what I'm saying is when it comes huh? to basketball, right? Yeah. A lot of uh, women say that the WNBA should be paid the same as the NBA, but, yeah, they, they, don't, but they don't generate the same revenue. They should not. So isn't that kind of like the same analogy as the celebrity getting paid more than the no-name actor? Yes. In some respect, but at the end of the day, I would say to advertise them more in all respect. What? If we look at Nike, if we look at Adidas, who do we see? Like, we mostly see male, like, um... Oh, the disingenuousness. Athletes, I'm trying to make a pose. Models. But even if you advertise something more, does that necessarily mean no. that you're going to have more success? I mean, there are tons of businesses that fail. You can advertise dog shit as food as much as you want. It don't mean that people are going to eat dog shit, okay? Your product has to be good. The WNBA as a product is not as good as the NBA. Here's one thing I'd love to ask all of these women that ride or die for the WNBA with this equal pay gap shit. When's the last time you've been to a WNBA game? Uh, 
you stand on this mountain, you stand on this molehill because you believe in this pay gap shit because it benefits you to talk about yourself from a victim perspective. But when's the last time you've been to a game? But there's a ton that make it and it's by advertising. Acting it requires you to act, put a little bit more work into it. Um, actually read a script, right? right? Read a script, do all these things that NBA players don't have to really Excuse do. Me? They just practice and they just, so you can't compare them. You can't compare the two. Well, um, is she comparing being an athlete for being an actor as a way to kind of debunk the logic of what I see just brought forward to her? Is that what she's trying to do? If so, it was a complete and utter failure. You can't diminish what they do and say that, well, it's not the same because people are not going to look at it the same because one is training or practicing versus the other one being an athlete, it, it, an actor. It just doesn't make sense. Well, once as again, as far as the pay rate is concerned. Well, once again, like I said, they're both, you know, they I both mean, have to practice they're both training and they're both basically, you yeah. know, they're both doing, I mean, acting, whether you're a male or a female actor, you're still basically, you know, doing the same work. But they shouldn't be the pay, pay the same. I don't know. I'm just saying, you I'm know. I'm over it. <laughs> yeah. Next question. Yeah. I don't think it's based off of discrimination. I think it's based off of how long you've been at your job, how well you are with your technique, and how good you are at what you do. I think that's what matters. Do you think uh, okay. high-paid Hollywood actors should have their money redistributed so struggling actors can have a living wage? No. No, those struggling actors need to work harder for their money if yes. that's what they want. She's cool. Okay, but uh, it's funny how a lot of Hollywood actors often talk about, uh, you know, socialism. Yeah, I see. Yeah, so, bullshit. Okay. Um, how do you solve the gender pay gap? There's not a gender pay gap. That's complete bullshit. <laughs> there has been some skepticism about the gender pay gap. Equal pay for equal work. Do you believe the wage gap is due more to sexism or productivity? Uh, I think it's sexism. Yes. Okay. I think men get paid more. Yep. It's got to be productivity. It's productivity. Can you show me a job where the pay scale for men and women is different? Porn. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Actors and actresses. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hmm? Actors and actresses. <laughs> They'll be in the same movie. Yep. Doing the same amount of yeah. work. Yeah. If the wage gap exists, then why would companies employ men when it would be cheaper to hire women? It, this is, yeah, I've asked this question a ton of goddamn times. Listen, we live in a capitalistic society. If it was cheaper to employ women, if it really was, they'd employ way more women than men because it's cheaper. At the end of the day, it's a business. It's a bottom line. It's positives and negatives. It's profit and loss to these businesses at the end of the day. The most expensive cost that businesses have, most businesses have, is labor. Newsflash, if they got rid of people or lowered their wages or had a way to pay people a lot less, many of these businesses' stock prices will go up because they have more money to invest back into the business, meaning more money to invest into the products or the services that they're offering, more marketing behind it, higher quality. They'd be able to do all of these different things if they truly were able to pay women less than men. Logically, this would bring you to, but your feelings feel something else. Oh, they pay me less. Shut up. Because companies can be sexist. Oh, God. And that's like the point. That's the no, problem. No, they can't. Why would companies employ men when it would be cheaper to hire women? <laughs> you know, that is a good one. Hold on. Because <laughs> they don't. Um, they, damn, they probably wouldn't. I mean, if women are capable of doing just as good a job and for less for the same money, price, wouldn't it make sense for a company to hire all women? Dog, no, companies will hire abroad. They will go get employees from other countries because of the exchange rate. They'll take American jobs in order to do that so that they don't have to invest so much in the human resources, okay? If they can do that legally in the United States, trust me, they would. <laughs> they would pay women less if they could. They would pay men less if they could, all right? I mean, yeah, if they were getting, if women were getting paid less, you know, what is it, 70 cents on the dollar? Yeah, companies would, you know, find a, a good deal in that, yeah. Yeah. Is there a wage gap or an earnings gap? It's got to be an earnings gap. If men earn more than women overall, could it possibly be because men typically choose higher paying jobs, more dangerous jobs, and work longer hours? Correct. Yep, these are all facts. You know, I work as a truck driver. I don't see... 
it, Any clearly women. as many female truck drivers as I do male. It's a dangerous job. It's a, it's a long job. You're driving yeah. for hours. Yeah. It's a no. tough job. <laughs> I couldn't Don't do it. Don't women generally choose lower paying fields like education and nursing as opposed to mass science and ditch yes, digging yeah. jobs? They do. More thinking. <laughs> so so wouldn't, oh, wouldn't their pay reflect that? Yeah, women like to work with people, men like to work with things. Yes, correct. Don't women also choose to take more time off to focus on friends and family, whereas men are more likely to be devoted to work? Correct. I think, yeah, this is also another fact, you know, biology of life. Women have to bury a child and they have to take maternity leave, so that's a very big uh, issue for most CEOs in the company because they can't really have... Uh, that liability for an employee to take leave for such a long time and that's one of the biggest concerns uh, for women being paid so low is because of their uh, it's all it all has to do with but isn't that isn't that biology and yes, yes. it has to do with biology that's why we're but upset why should why should an employer be responsible for a woman's choice to have a kid they're not responsible but it's just the basic uh, ethics it actually um, is. A I mean, here's the thing, um, is that I think a lot of modern women have to understand that when they go on these career paths or whatever it is that they're choosing, if you want to have a kid, you have to understand what that means for you having a kid. Like, are you prepared to go back into the workforce? What I've learned in watching Kevin Samuel's show is that most women, although they say one thing now, at the point that they have children, shit changes. Shit changes. Shit, I got a friend that is getting divorced right now. And he told me that when we went into this and we got married, we were both planning on working together for the rest of our lives. But at the moment that she had a kid, she changed her mind. And as a man, he felt like he had to step up in order to then to be the provider and the protector of the entire family. But right now it's ending in divorce and she's ripping the complete rug up under him, cleaning him out of house and home because she didn't work because she wanted to stay home for the kids. And now because she didn't have a job, he has to pay for that on the back end. So he paid for it during the marriage and now he has to pay for it during the divorce as well. Woo, this one was a doozy here today, but I think that we got active. Questions, comments, concerns? Y'all already know what to do. Mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com, all right? Guys, go click the link down in the description box down below to go look at the complete video. I'm sure I chopped and screwed it all up. So go over there and show I see it's complicated. He's just doing his respect. That brother is working hard over there. All right. Until next time, YouTube.